Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's wonderful world of beer and yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful. Anyway, uh, today we're having a look at a brew that comes all the way from Barcelona, Spain. It's Estrella Dam or Dam, not sure on the pronunciation. Anyhow, it's 4.6% uh, alcohol by volume and uh, I was given this bottle for free. Uh, in fact, when I uh, picked up a uh, carton of uh, Peroni Red uh, at uh, First Choice the other week, they gave me this to sample and I thought, oh, I've never actually uh, reviewed this one. So, and I don't even know whether I've even had it before. Um, yeah, I think it may have been another Australia variant that I did have many years ago. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, crack off the cap and uh, pour it out to this mug. Give it a nice pour. Alright, so, um, yeah, as far as the appearance goes, it's a very clear, uh, effervescent, uh, light golden colour. We've got uh, nearly two fingers of bright white frothy looking head. So let's uh, move on to the uh, aroma, shall we? Alright, uh, sweet grains. Not picking up any uh, hops, but you know, that's what I'd expect for this style. So, um, yeah, it actually smells like it's going to have a bit of a, a nice sort of citrusy zing to it. Uh, anyway, um, time for the taste test. Let's dive in. Alright, well, up front, getting a nice hit of, um, you know, bready malts there. Not overly sweet. Um, no real bitterness to speak of. Yeah, it goes down smooth. The body's somewhere between light and medium, leaning towards light. Hmm. Yeah, I wish it had a bit more uh, body to it, uh, actually. It doesn't taste too bad, and um, it's not watery at all, um, but it's definitely on the light side. Uh, yeah, quite drinkable and at 4.6% ABV you could certainly uh, session this one. Um, the price point I suppose isn't too bad by Australian standards. Um, I think $50 for a case of the bottles. Um, I've seen the cans around too. Uh, actually saw on some website uh, they want like $65 um, for the cans. You know, I'm talking 24, 330 mil cans, which is just ludicrous. Usually the cans are, are not as expensive as the bottles, um, so the bottles, you know, tend to have more weight to them. Anyway, um, is it one that I'd get again? Mm, perhaps, if it were the right price, I mean, it'd probably be hard to resist it, you know, like $40, I suppose, but I think, yeah, there, there are better options, um, you know, around the $50 price range here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, paying that for, yeah, 24, 330 mil bottles isn't all that appealing. Yeah. Anyway, um, I guess I'll have one last gulp of this and uh, give it a score out of 10. Alright, well all in all, it's not too bad, uh, doesn't have quite enough body, quite enough zing to it, uh, but it's quite inoffensive, uh, I'd probably give it a, uh, hmm, a 7.5 out of 10, so uh, there you go folks, a 7.5 out of 10 for Estrella Dam, so uh, do check it out, if you stumble upon it, you might be uh, lucky like me and get yourself a free bottle when you uh, buy your next slab at first choice. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to kick back and uh, enjoy the rest of this and uh, 
I'll see you all in the next review, but uh, until then, fare thee well, or 